I'm Wiley, Wiley Cable, the founder of Dome of Doom Records, and Dome of Doom is a label and I guess also a collective of various artists. Uh, it started just through my desire to have a way to help my friends put out music, their, their own music that they'd made, my own music that we'd made, having like an independent channel where people could do, express themselves exactly how they wanted and not have to filter their creativity at all. My struggle when I started the label was making it established as a recognizable thing in the world, basically. Um, I The first record we ever pressed was one of my, I guess my solo beat tape thing. And then I pressed this in band fractaline for this <laughs> technical metal band from India. And uh, my friend Stevie Schmidt's EP and my friend Chris Adams' EP. and. It was all really left-leaning, very strange, weird music. My biggest struggle was just, I guess, ignoring everyone's, <laughs> ignoring uh, everyone's please be like, what are you doing with this? And just, just be, you know, just go through it and do the work. I've found some of the artists online, like scouring SoundCloud, as many people do, or I've found some of the artists just hearing their set at a show. Uh, some people I've known, some uh, some of the core artists on the label are old friends of mine that I've known for a long time. We like played some of our first shows together. Well, right now we have Stevie Schmidt's EP two coming out, so that's the second release from him. This is sophomore release on the label, and uh, so that's coming out on the twenty seventh, day after Thanksgiving. Give some people some intellectual feast after they <laughs> gorge themselves or whatever. And then uh, that's our only real, well actually no, we have Galapagos, The Land That Time Forgot, which is like a weird secret project that my band, the Death Medicine Band had. Uh, when I lived in San Francisco, we would hang out in our garage late at night and smoke spliffs and make this weird ambient music. Uh, and we called it, we found this album art like in the library or something or like in an old record uh, that had this old school album art like look to it and it was Galapagos the land that time forgot so we just went with that and rolled with that that's the name of this record that's coming out at the end of this year Lenafornia Young is coming soon in the first month of next year it's going to be her debut release on the label and her first full length like official release for her music so that's been I've been working with her a lot on that um and it's been a pleasure to do that. It's like amazing music. I'm really stoked about it. And then we also have uh, a, a new full length from Elos coming, uh, alumni of other local Los Angeles record labels like Alpha Pup. Um, yeah, I mean, like not everybody's got a cassette player. I know it's it's uh, it's a thing, but it's sort of. I mean, I make, I've made the music available now online. It's everywhere. It's in the digital era, what have you. And people can access it if they choose to do it in that way. And I'm not, I'm not trying to like stand in front of a hurricane or something. <laughs> but uh, doing the tapes and doing the physical, we've done, we've done some vinyl as well. And just doing, doing the physical media it gives people, especially in this world that's so saturated with so much information and technology and screens everywhere in your pocket, on your back of your head, in the car, to give something tangible to someone that's an analog artifact that they can hold and that has art on it and it's, you know, it's like a labor of love that went into this, this you know, basically a, a placeholder in time in the world. You hold a tape, you hold a record, you put it in your player and you can you can actually sit there and enjoy it and meditate on it and fully experience something. We got uh, 100 Onces, Ahi, uh, the Arthur Cable Blues Band, Bacteria Earth, um, The Blank Tapes, DJ Nobody, Dream Panther, uh, Duck, this is a sick, sick gypsy jazz band, um, Eraserface, Elos, Fractaline, uh, who else we got on here? Gnome Beats, Insects vs. Robots, Lenafornia, The Opaque, um, Particle Kid, Fede, Space Gang, uh, <laughs> Stevie Schmidt, Sun Trender Moon, and then uh, four records from myself, Wiley Cable. I think that's everybody. <laughs> if I miss you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I just want to put a lot of really good music out. And I mean, I create my own stuff too, and that's something that I'd like to get back into 2016. I like, I've been working on like mad, mad tracks. I don't know, I was just sitting on a lot of stuff. I haven't put out anything in a while. I did four records when I started the label uh, that were my own, and I sort of consistently did releases as I went along doing other people's releases. My advice for anyone who wants to do anything is that if you really love what you're doing, you're going to do the work that's necessary to make it happen, you know? Uh, so if you want to, you know, if you want to be a chef, you got to be a cook first, you know, you can't, you, you're not going to, if you want to get into the music business and you immediately think you're going to be like Prince, you know, handing a fucking <laughs> golden scepter to the next generation or whatever, like that's shit, you know, that takes time. That's, that's a whole lifetime, you know? You, you got to do it because you love it, basically. That's my advice. If you're going to do something, do it because you love it, not for any other reason than that.